All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, this is a special video that I'm doing for one person more or less than anybody else. Um, I did send him a private message uh, to send me some pictures. He's having troubles with the radio, and he's uh, fairly new in this hobby, so he's not. Uh, he's having a lot of troubles, and he had sent a left a comment on I believe it was uh, not the very last video I did but the video before that one the two that I put up the same night uh, the variety one I think it was on that one that he wanted me to do a video on troubleshooting he'd already uh, uh, sent me one message about asking for my help so uh, I thought I'd do uh, without a whole lot of knowledge of exactly what equipment he has. I thought I'd do is something as basic as possible uh, of what you're looking for in troubleshooting and um, kind of give him an idea of just uh, you know some things to do I guess. Uh, it's kind of difficult because uh, without no know, knowing for sure what he's got for equipment, I do know he's got a voltmeter, and uh, the radio he happens to be working on is a Montgomery Ward model, uh, a 62-406, and uh, uh, let's see. I'm trying to, uh, right now, trying to remember his uh, name. So, bear with me on this. Uh, hopefully, if I can get this right, it looks like Old Bob Bulb O Radio. Old Bulb O Radio is what he goes by on YouTube. But, so anyway, I thought I'd do something on this. I know a lot of you guys already, you know, pretty well got this down pat. And uh, kind of explain some stuff to him. The schematic that he's got is not the grandest. Uh, I love these when they just don't give you much information. Uh, Hopefully you can see this. Uh, it has very few voltages. It does have some negative voltages for uh, bias uh, grid voltages that are uh, determined by a uh, can ohm resistor that's connected off the uh, center tap of the transformer. And they're used mainly for the audio circuitry as well as the uh, tuning indicator. Uh, or the magic eye. And then uh, they don't do a real good job. Uh, they give uh, the main B plus of 150 volts and it appears to be just one set of screen voltages for the 6K7 and the 6A8 uh, oscillator and IF respectively of 85 volts. Now his voltages are showing high here. Everything else seems to be pretty much on the money what I wanted to do was take him through and kind of give him some idea well hey you know how else am I supposed to check any other voltages when there's none listed and what if you don't have voltages and so I thought I'd bring this RCA up which does happen to have all of its voltages but uh, uh, one thing I wanted to point out was when you don't know you don't have documentation that gives you full voltages or of any kind or very little such as this uh, where you only got you know a couple three voltages and then that's about it then what you can do to kind of give you a ballpark figure of what you're looking for and one way is to look up the tubes in a tube manual now uh, this here is just uh, it was on two separate pages and I didn't feel like printing the whole thing out. The main thing was the uh, main information for the 6K7. And 
the important thing I was looking at here is the control grid voltages of with the ba uh, very basic plate voltages anywhere from minus one to minus three volts is what should be there uh, and that ranges from a hundred to to 250 volts um, on the plate and then uh, the other thing was the 6A8 tube which is his converter or mixer tube and grid number four which is the uh, G4 which is your input grid where your antenna signal will come into and it's running at uh, negative point or negative 1.5 to negative 3 volts depending on plate voltage of 100 to 250 volts now the point I want to point out here is how do you know what plate voltage you got well voltages are generally checked in a radio uh, as far as troubleshooting goes with no signal or as attenuated as possible. In other words, you try to tune, uh, they want you to tune a radio generally to some point in the band uh, that you're not picking up no signal. So when, when there's no signal going through radio, then uh, your voltages will, uh, your DC voltages will be stabilized, especially like in the RF and IF sections. And what I mean by stabilized is when a signal's going through, the uh, loads on the plates will vary and that can vary the actual voltages that you measure so this has got a B plus of 150 volts they have given us that if you follow this line down this is the main feed it feeds up through the IF to the plate of the 6K7 well this is only 25 ohms and we look at this as pure DC so a 25 ohm resistor, just think of it as that, it's not going to drop a lot of voltage. So this plate is going to be somewhere in that ballpark of 150 volts, give or take a little bit, but it's going to be pretty close. So if then if I go back to my grid voltages and look at them, well, I know then that 150 volts is going to be somewhere between 100 and 250 volts so <coughs> excuse me we're going to be somewhere between negative 1 and negative 3 volts on that grid the main thing is as long as that grids negative that's the main point but you can check these plates plate voltages here they should be pretty close to the 150 same way with this one it's only going through a 25 ohm load so it's going to be pretty close to 150 on your 6A8 again then that means its grid will be somewhere between that one negative 1 1.5 and negative 3 volts again as long as it's negative that's really the main thing my suspicion with his radio is he's got a real high voltage here instead of 85 I believe and I didn't watch the video again so I may be off on this but it's pretty darn close to the B plus voltage it's around 140 150 volts so that means it's got a dropper here a load resistor of 15 megs now either that resistor is pretty much almost dead shorted so that there's actually almost like no resistance there or the tubes are not conducting. You know, if you're not getting current going through here, then you don't get drop, and then this will raise this voltage. This voltage comes from the fact that you're dropping a voltage across here, and in order to drop it, Ohm's Law tells us we have to have current. Well, I'm pretty sure he already replaced that resistor anyway. He replaced pretty much all the resistors in it. So that resistor should be good. So that's telling me that this, these two tubes, that voltage goes to the screen grid here and to the screen grid here. These two tubes are not conducting or conducting very little. Well, what keeps the tube from conducting? The grid is what controls the tube. So that being said then that means these grid voltages are off and they'll be off towards the positive end most likely they're actually positive 
because they're pretty much shutting down these two tubes and that's where I'd be checking is checking these grids and making sure that I've got a negative voltage if I don't then I've got a problem well where does they get their voltage from well they get it from the ABC line this is the ABC line right here coming up that's where they're getting it from they're pulling off number pin number four this diode this is your load this is a filter right here's the capacitor and the resistor filter and that's what they're getting the voltage from so there could be a problem actually going on here as opposed with anything going on here <coughs> excuse me the other thing to check um, also is and I should have kept this blown up but I believe yeah it's pin 5 it's pin 5 on the 6A8 that's the control grid for the oscillator that needs to be negative if it's nothing if it's positive if it's zero volts the oscillator definitely is not operational so those are two things to check but I wanted to systematically kind of go through this and uh, and kind of show just an idea of what you do now when you're checking radio voltages uh, it's nice if you've got something you know uh, a schematic that gives you all the voltages but you don't need it your your plate voltages first of all your plate voltages for now on this radio here this is the output tube or the final amp audio amp this is the preamp to it or first audio we have the detector here the IF here amplifier and then this is our converter mixer and oscillator tube right here and then of course the rectifier here in virtually any radio that you ever will work on your audio tube gets pretty much full plate R or B plus voltage through it it'll just be whatever gets dropped across the audio transformer which are probably like 400 ohms so you know there's going to be some drop there but it's getting they want to pull as much voltage as possible because this is a power tube it takes a lot of current to operate it it takes a lot of current and a lot of voltage to operate a speaker uh, so these pretty much are getting pretty close your plate voltage less whatever's drop across this so you'll have actually two different pins that can give you an idea the screen and the plate. The screen voltage generally will be running higher than the plate in most audio output tubes because it it is hooked directly to B plus and that gives you a pretty good idea what your B plus should be and that you're getting it there. Of course you can check the B plus back at the rectifier and I'll show you where to check that there should be a drop going across the audio transformer so that your plate should be a little less and I do believe although I don't know if the meter is getting in there maybe I can kind of pull it up here a little bit but um, one two three this one here yeah you can see that 254 volts and that's yeah that's the plate pin 3's plate screen voltage 264 now it's pulling pretty much its full voltage from uh, I, there is a little bit drop I, th I believe there is one small resistor in it on this radio but it's pretty much the voltage it's getting from the B plus. Now, your rectifier tube 
has two main leads that goes to it these two here and these two are the secondary winding in here clear across the secondary winding there'll be a center tap that goes to ground but that ain't where you picked up your voltage here's your filament and on one side of the filament is where you pick up your voltage now full B plus is about 325 on this another spot if you're not sure here is your first uh, can uh, uh, filter capacitor is where you get from there I mean, we got about 324.8 volts which actually is pretty darn close it's supposed to be around 327 so it's close enough but the big thing I wanted you to understand is checking for B plus here and here is your screen voltage that there is a slight difference but the fact that there is difference means that there's current flow through that tube because it is dropping some voltage across that primary winding it also tells you that the primary wiring winding is good because if that was open there'd be no plate voltage whatsoever now the rest of your voltages. You need to know your tubes although on his uh, schematic it's pretty simple it does got them uh, numbered out and everything and, and it tells you if there's grids if it says a G like it shows here and I don't know if you can see that that's got a grid cap um, otherwise it's just got the pin numbers marked out but the next pin here is my grid and it's running at around minus 16.8 volts it's supposed to be around minus 15 volts uh, something I would like to just out of, as a side note on this the voltage is on this RCA when this RCA was built the uh, voltmeters back in the day would have been probably around 1000 ohm per volt on the VOMs and that's what they measured them at actually on this the schematic it, which is on my screen um, when it comes to these grid voltages it tells you it gives you two voltages it gives you the minus it's supposed to be minus 15 and it's got a little star next to it or asterisk and it's in parentheses then below that it's got 0.5 volts when you read what it says about that it's telling you the voltages in the parentheses is where there is absolutely zero, uh, no meter loading or very little meter loading uh, indicates operating conditions without meter voltmeter loading so no, the, in other words the meter is not loading the 0.5 volts is where they're using they gotta be using something like a 1000 ohm it doesn't say in here for sure what one they're using but uh, that's a substantial load going from 0.5 volts down to negative 0.15 volts so or negative 15 volts I decided to bring that up that's pretty much it on that tube the only other things that's in here would be if you wanted to you could check the uh, voltage across your uh, filaments or heaters just to make sure but remember those are probably AC so you'd have to switch to AC. You start with one one end of the radio. It doesn't make any difference where you start at. Just keep in a methodical straight line process. You start going through the radio, checking the various voltages as you go through. And you can hear it picking up some noise there because I'm on the plate there, and uh, which looks good. You got 146 volts. I'm holding this way outside the camera range. Uh, the grid on this tube is up on the underneath side, so it's kind of hard to get to. And as you move through, continually checking each one of your voltages through the radio at various different points. 
you're looking for those negative voltages for the grid and you're looking for the uh, you know, your plate voltages being something where they should be you know within reason like again like on your radio there you're going to have pretty much your plate voltages are going to be very similar to your B plus there's you know they're going to be a little drop but if they were operating properly but they're going to be pretty close ah uh, see here now all these has got I don't know let me see if I can get to the grid cap yeah see it's negative 3.3 .3 volts on the uh, that would be my uh, mixer oscillator tube and on the 6K7 in this radio again negative 3.3 .3 volts so you got negative voltage here and that's being produced partially by um, the detector the ABC circuit which I believe is Pin one, two, three. So one, two, three. There's my negative three point three ABC automatic volume control voltage. Let's go into these two grids. Now we're going to disconnect this, and I'm going to show you another little thing that can be done here, um, real quick. The other thing you can do is you can inject signals. Now, how do you inject signals? Well, you can use your own body. Now, be careful doing this. All right, know the tubes, know the grids. It's the only thing you need to be even bothering with is grids. Don't mess with the plates. It's not necessary. First thing I'm going to show you, we're going to connect there. Now, do this full volume. You can barely hear that, but if I do this, that's the grid to the audio output tube. Now, don't just lock it down, ground it, because it's this can ohm resistor is what's supplying that. It could load it too much. But by doing this, I can tell the audio tube's working. But the other place I can connect. Now, if I had the radio turned over, I could go right to the grid. But hear that? That's the grid of the first audio. It's much amplified, but it tells me that first audio is working. And you can continue through the, two, uh, the radio. Now, the 6K barely can hear it, the IF amplifier, because there's not much amplification. But if I go to the grid, and I'm, that's all I'm doing is touching the grid. It's the grid cap. It makes a difference. So, as you go, you can go through the radio this way as you being a signal injector. You're just a big antenna and you're creating a signal and you're going through it. There is, you know, if you listen carefully, You can hear a little bit there as I tap on it, on the IF amp, but there's not a lot of amplification there at that point. Coming on back, now I've got this tube amplifying, going through that tube amplifying and getting more amplification. <coughs> That's a way for you to locate. If you find a place that you can't get a signal, you can't make it make a little noise of some sort, even a little tapping noise, then that means at that point that circuit is giving you troubles. And then all you got to do is look through that circuit. Say, say you're going through this and you check here, you know, you touch the grid like I did with the audio output, kind of scrape it against ground or something to get to make some noise and it gives noise. You come here to the 6Q7 and you get noise. You know, it's louder and you get noise. Okay, that, that part's good. But now you come back here and you get nothing. Well then it's between here and here. There's a problem. It could be the IF. It could be in this tube. 
it can be something dealing with the the diode tubes so what you do then is you just take out your voltmeter this voltage here this on pin 4 here's your AVC you should have some negative voltage there so if you don't then there's a problem here just start checking voltage check your plate voltage they'll tell you if this winding and everything's good you can disconnect stuff and do a resistance check you know shut the radio off and go ahead and disconnect and, and, and take some measurements of these coils if you haven't already so wherever the signal would stop there's where your problem is and that's instead of having to try to figure out well gee I got a whole radio what, where can it be now I can bring it down to one tube or one tube here or one tube here and just associated circuitry just what works that tube so I hope this helps send me some pictures I need pictures underneath your radio so I can compare them to the, the only schematic that seems to be around here and send me some other information you know tell me what you have done already what you've found um, also you know you know tell me why you're pretty darn sure that this is actually that radio that's the other thing too uh, and your research on that and I'll see what I can do to help you and I'm sure it's probably something pretty simple so anyway this video has run extremely long uh, so I'm about out of time on the memory card so anyway the next video we'll probably do alignment on this so I'll see you guys next video I'll get to answering your comments thanks for your comments and everything else See you on the next video. Bye.